Good afternoon. This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak. This is our video feature race of the week for Saturday, January 24th. It's going to be the ninth race from Gulfstream Park, the Grade 2 Holy Bull for three-year-olds, and they're going to be going a mile and a sixteenth on the main track. We're definitely uh, on the Kentucky Derby Trail now, and let's talk about some of the races, the graded races, and, and the big stakes races that were uh, for Derby points that, that were run so far in 2015. We started with the Jerome Grade 3 at Aqueduct, and El Kabir, he was expected to win that one. He drew the outside post, he tracked the pace, and, and he won nicely. But the good thing there was he did draw outside, and he was able to rate a bit. And in his other races, he had uh, sort of just gone right out to the front and controlled the pace. But he did rate a little bit from that outside post and finished well. Solid speed figure in the mid-90s. And, and he, he's, we just still don't know how far he wants to go. He obviously has talent. He's earning derby points. I think he's got at least 21 points now. He's in good shape overall. It's just now they just got to fine-tune him, get him to relax better, keep going on the trail as distances increase. Uh, the grade three sham in Southern California was won by Calculator. He was the heavy favorite. He actually broke his maiden in that race. Uh, last year he finished uh, second in a couple of uh, graded races behind American Pharaoh. And then this was his coming out party. He was wide throughout. Uh, he's probably been the most impressive visually so far uh, of the, the four big stakes races that were run in 2015 for the Derby Trail. So Calculator on the right path. I mean, it was only one mile. We don't know how far he wants to go, but so far so good. And, and he'll continue, hopefully, uh, to do better as distances get longer. A decent pedigree. Peter Miller, he's been on the Derby Trail before. Uh, the Grade 3 LeCompte, uh, that one was won by International Star. That was last weekend. He was my original number one on my Kentucky Derby list, uh, dating back to last September. Uh, he's been on my list all along. He came off a couple of disappointing efforts. The Kentucky Jockey Club, he was a, a flat fourth. Oh, and Breeders Cup Day, he ran in a, a, a juvenile turf. Uh, he, he had a wide trip from an outer post. So he had some excuses. And now... And then LeCompte, he drew post one. Uh, he sat a nice ground-saving trip behind the speed, finished up well, and now he has 21 derby points. The neat thing about him and what I've liked all along is it seems like he can handle anything. Very professional. He's got that positional speed. Uh, he handles turf, synthetic, dirt, uh, sprinting and routing. He can do anything. A very professional horse, the kind of horse that doesn't, things don't really seem to get to him. And, and, and he should do, continue to do well on the derby trail. And that's the kind of horse you want probably even for the derby. You don't want him to, to come apart, and he seems to be one that's just very calm, and he just uh, has his mind on business, and he does what he has to do. Uh, the Smarty Jones Stakes, uh, the last prep that was run, uh, looked like Mr. Z had this one, but he kind of flipped out in the stretch. He was in control. Uh, he just he, he, he took a turn. He, he wouldn't run a straight line, and he ended up finishing third. He probably should have won it, but uh, far right, who was my HRN play, uh, along with International Stars, I've been on a roll on HRN lately, uh, he rallied from off the pace to get the job done there. Uh, 89 buyer speed figure for the Smarty Jones. Uh, they're going to run the Southwest. Uh, it will be the next prep uh, for the horses at Oaklawn Park. But let's get back to the Holy Bull now. Um, down on the inside, Frosted, he's actually going to be my top choice. He's my, my uh, number two on my derby list right now. Uh, Frosted, I actually, in pool one, I played him uh, in, in pool one of the derby futures as well because uh, I was impressed with his race in the Remsen, even though he didn't win it. He had post 13 that day. Inside speed dominated. He was wide throughout, tracking the pace. He ended up finishing eight lanes clear of the show finisher that day, a keen ice who's also entered uh, in, in, the, um, in the Holy Bull. So that was a big effort from Frosted. He was, he was probably best. And if you look at his speed ratings, they, they've gone up in each of his starts. So he's improving. His last start even, is even better than it looks. And now he's drawn the inside post at Gulfstream, which is an, an advantage at a mile on the 16th. He's got that positional speed, so he can sit right behind the speed, saving all the ground and he shouldn't have any excuses. And if he takes another forward move, should win this race. A Bluegrass Singer is one that's it's probably the one to catch. He's three for four at Gulfstream, coming off of a, a win in the Mucho Macho Man. He likes to go out to the front, but there are a couple of other speed horses in here, Juan and Bina and Dom the Bomb. So the, the pace could be uh, at least um, honest, and, and Bluegrass Singer, obviously, if, if he's able to get loose again, he could be tough, but he is going to run longer. He comes off that one-mile win. This is a mile and the 16th around two turns. The one mile is around one turn. Uh, upstart, probably going to be your favorite. He won his first two career starts against New York bred sprinters. Then he was second in the slop in the grade one champagne. And then last time, third from post position 11 in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Uh, just because he ran in the Breeders' Cup, I think they're going to overbet him. And we still don't know how good he is. Uh, sprinting, he did great, and then they stretched him out to a mile, then a mile and a sixteenth. 
He ran well second and third in his last two, but he lost both of those. First start of the year, he's going to come from a little off the pace. Uh, Frosted, I think, is just in a better position. He's drawn on the inside. And those are the two to beat, obviously, Frosted and an upstart. But I think Frosted drawn on the rail, um, coming off that big effort in the Remsen, and then he, he draws much better today uh, than upstart. And I think that, that Frosted's going to be the play. And we'll try to beat upstart this time, but he, obviously he has some talent. And, and then uh, Fermento for, for trainer Nick Zito. He was second behind Bluegrass Singer last time. He'll be coming from off the pace. He needs pace help, but he's one to look for in the, in the long run. I think that he does have some talent. Now, how I'm going to play this one is... Uh, just going to make a win bet on Frosted here. We're not going to fool around. Uh, I think that Upstart's going to take too much money. Frosted will be a fair price. So we're going to make a $40 win wager on Frosted. We're going to single him in daily doubles, uh, pick threes, uh, and, and pick four wagers. I just think he's really solid in this spot. You can follow Horse Racing Nation on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. If you go over to DerbyWars.com on Saturday, January 24th, we have a $20,000 game. And this Holy Bull from Gulfstream will be part of that game. Uh, probably Aqueduct, races from Aqueduct, Gulfstream, Santa Anita will all be part of that $20,000 game at DerbyWars.com on Saturday, January 24th. That'll wrap up this week's video. We'll be back with another Derby prep video probably next week.